Let's look at the date difference template at SharePointDashboards.com. The purpose of this template is to compare between two dates and tell you the difference. So in SharePoint, we are often working with dates. We want to know things like how many days have elapsed, maybe since an item was created, or we want to know something like how many days are left until a task is due. These types of concepts can be handled with this template. You can either create your own date fields or you can compare against the fields in the list, um, such as created or modified, or you can also use the special reference for now. There is a uh, at sign you can use uh, with now. So if you use the at sign with now, that will get you a difference between the current uh, moment in time compared to another date. So that's another option that you have. In order to use this template, you can just have a simple placeholder text field. In my case, I called that date diff as in date difference, and that's where this difference is going to be shown. In my case, I want to check the difference between these date fields I have set up called check date and check date two. So the first thing I need to do is fill in those field values. So I'm going to put in check date and check date two. And then um, we'll just start out by copying that template to see what we get. So go ahead and click on the copy template button then follow the directions in the pop-up window, and then you can go over to SharePoint and go to the column header, then column settings, format this column, then advanced mode, and paste. Okay, so just like I saw in my preview window, you can see exactly what that's doing. So it's telling me the number of days, either negative or positive, between the check date and check date two. Now you can tell the color is different as well. This could be useful because I want to know if, uh, for example, a task is upcoming or whether it's past uh, and it's overdue. So maybe I want a red highlight for that. That's entirely up to you. You can control those settings uh, by using these um, color selectors um, over on this side and you can apply that to get it to look however you want. Of particular importance with this template is the format option. You can show the difference in very simple terms, maybe just days if that's the level of specificity that you want or you can get very specific if you want to. You can do days, hours, and minutes. And then there's different abbreviations and things like that that you can use. So you can continue to make adjustments to get this to look however you want. Maybe you want a little bit smaller font size and maybe I want to do something, um, you know, to make it look a certain way. Like I could do a uh, curved border around the edge. Uh, I can make little tweaks like that. So. Um, you can keep making adjustments and then just copy the template again, come back over to SharePoint and just select all and paste, then save, and then that'll adjust. And then you can adjust your column width so that it's going to be appropriate uh, for that. So if you are in a situation where you want to see how many days are remaining or how many days um, gone by, you can do that really easily with this template. And again, just another reminder, you can also do things like use a comparison to now. And to do that, I just type the at sign and then now, and that will do a comparison to right now compared to my date in SharePoint. Um, so as a last example, I'll paste that in. So this is telling me right to this moment of time, the difference between now is in today and this check date column. So that is another option available to you. So this is a really handy template. It's a very common concept that we want to know when things are have gone past or upcoming and how many days remain. 
and then also have the ability to do conditional highlighting so that um, once we go past the threshold date, it would be a different color. We want that to be able to stand out. So this is the date difference template at SharePointDashboards.com. If you have not yet used this tool, you can come to SharePoint Dashboards and sign up for a free account and have access to 20 of the free templates. And then beyond that is the subscription package, which includes all of the templates, of which there are more than 100. I hope you find that useful and I hope you're able to use this in lots of SharePoint lists to help your users easily see the difference on dates. Good luck!